consider the matrix B, which is a 4x4 four four matrix as shown. A, find the determinant of B by first expanding along row 1. B, find the determinant of B by first expanding along column 2. So what we want is the determinant of B. And let's see how we figure that out. To figure out the determinant of a 4x4 four four matrix, you need to pick a row or a column to expand along. And I've been told that I have to expand along row 1, so that I will do. Here is row 1. And what's going to happen is I'm going to have each of these four numbers in my answer with a plus and minus sign between them. And the rules are that if you start in the top left hand corner, that number gets a plus and as you move positions you change signs. So it'll be plus 2, minus 0, plus 8, minus 3. So plus 2, minus 0, plus 8, minus 3. And I've spaced them out so far because you don't just put those numbers, you put a 3x3 three three determinant as well. So it's 2 times a 3x3 three three determinant, 0 times a 3x3 three three determinant, 8 times a 3x3 three three determinant, and 3 times a 3x3 three three determinant. And how do you find those 3x3 three three determinants? Well, you go back to your original matrix. So, to find this 3x3 three three determinant, I go back to my original matrix and look at the 2 in the first row. And I cross out the row and column that I'm in. And this matrix here goes in this position. So it's 0, 0, 0, 0, 10, 5, and minus 5, 3, minus 6. And I do that for all of them. Feel free to fast forward this bit if you like. So I, if I want this one, I move to 0 here and I cross out the row and column that I'm in. So the matrix I have left is this. And then to get this one here, I move to the next position where the 8 is. I cross out the row and column that I'm in and the matrix that's left goes in this space. And finally, to get this next matrix here, I move on to the, where the 3 is, I cross out the row and column that I'm in, and the matrix that's left goes in this space. And so I've finished expanding along row 1 now. So what I need to do now is figure out all of these 3x3 three three determinants. Why don't we start with this one? So I'll have 2 times something. So let's see. Why don't we start with row 1, which is 0, 0, 0. So I'll have 0 times a 2x2 two two determinant this time minus 0 times a 2x2 two two determinant plus 0 times a 2x2 two two determinant but of course it makes absolutely no difference what these 2x2 two two determinants are because all of these numbers are 0 so I'm just going to make a little bit more space by writing that out 0 minus 0 plus 0 just to indicate that I did actually expand along that row Okay, well, let's move on to the next 3x3 three three matrix then. And I'll expand this one along its top row as well. Only, oh, of course we don't have to do that because there's a 0 here. So in fact, I don't need to put this one in at all. So let's move on to the next one. 
and I'll expand along the first row of this. So I'm going to have plus 8 times. So let's see, in my first row I've got 2, 0, 0. So I'm going to have 2 times a 2 by 2 determinant, minus 0 times a 2 by 2 determinant, plus 0 times a 2 by 2 determinant. So I don't need to figure out what the matrices that go here are, just the one for the first column. So let's see. I look at the 2 and I cross out the row and column that it's in and the matrix that's left goes here. So 0, 5, minus 5, minus 6. Okay. Excellent. Let's move on to the next one. So, let me focus on the first row again. So this time we get, oops, sorry, minus 3. So we'll have 2 times a 2 by 2 determinant, minus 0 plus 0. Okay, and to get this 2 by 2 determinant, I focus on the first entry there where the 2 came from, and I cross out the column and row that it is in, and I copy what's left into this space. So 0, 10 minus 5, 3. And that's my answer so far. So, let's see. Well, 2 times 0 minus 0 plus 0 is 0, so we're not going to have that one in the next line. And so my next answer on the next page is going to come out to this. So this is equal to 8 times 2 times 0, 5, minus 5, minus 6, minus 3 times 2 times 0, 10, minus 5, 3. And we want to calculate that. Well, 2 by 2 determinants are easy because to do a 2 by 2 determinant, I do this times this minus this times this. So that will be 8 times 2 times 0 times minus 6 minus minus 5 times 5. And this next one will be 0 times 3 minus minus 5 times 10. So this comes out to 16 times 0 minus minus 5 times 5 which would be 25 minus 6 times 0 minus minus 5 times 10, which is 50. And that all works out to be, when I calculate it, 100. Now all I need to do is part B. So, it will be useful to copy my matrix this time. The determinant of B is equal to the determinant of this matrix. So, what was I told to do? I was told to expand along column 2. Okay, so here's column 2. And that's got three zeros in it. So when I expand along column 2, I'm going to get equals, uh, let's just see, I said to you that the pluses and minuses come by starting in the top left hand corner and changing signs as you go. So that would be plus 2 minus 0, 
plus zero. Minus zero. Plus negative five. And each of those would be multiplied by a 3 by 3 determinant. But of course, I don't need to put them in for these ones because they're 0. So all I need to do is the 3 by 3 determinant for this entry just here. So all I need to do is focus on the entry where I am, cross out the row and column that I am in, and write down what's left. So 2, 8, 3, 2, 0, 0, minus 10, 10, 5. And now all I need to do is figure out the determinant of this matrix. And I'll do that on a new page. So my determinant will come out to be equal to minus 5 times this. And I think I ought to expand along row 2, because it's got a lot of zeros in it, just there. So I'll get, let's just make sure I do this right, top left hand corner is a plus, so plus minus 2 uh, times a 2 by 2 determinant, plus 0, minus zero. Excellent. Now what I need to do is find this 2 by 2 determinant. And to do that I focus on the 2 and I cross out the row and column that it is in and I write down what's left. So I have minus 5 times minus 2 times the determinant of this matrix. And the determinant of that matrix can be found by doing 8 times 5, which is 40, minus 10 times 3, which is 30. So finally, I get minus 5 times minus 2 is plus 10, times 40 times minus 30, which is 10, which is 100. And that was much easier than calculating it the other way, because I chose rows and columns with lots of zeros in them.